Hey everybody, it's Brian from PB Homesteading. I want to do the update for the mid-sized tent and uh, show you what we got going on in here. Let me grab the camera, take it over there. I'm using a new microphone with this camera, so hopefully it's going to have good audio. It's a Rode microphone and it's a shorter microphone. I'm using the longer one that's a battery powered with my uh, camcorder. So, all right, let's get to the update. So this tray here, as you may have remembered from last week, was ready for a cut and I went ahead and cut it and I want to try a third cut on this because it was so full and with regrowth I wanted to see if I can get a third cut out of this tray and this is a gourmet lettuce they're all gourmet lettuce at this point inside this tent and then uh, all the plants that used to be here for the seedling starts for spring they're all gone now and I reseeded a gourmet lettuce tray for this so that'll be our first new tray and then these other two trays I remember last week I was saying I was going to take these out but I saw the regrowth starting to happen and I thought, you know, there's quite a bit of regrowth in there. I'm going to let that go and see if I can get it to go. And then I did a first cut on this week for this tray, and I'm letting it regrow. And then down here we have our, our trays that were first cuts, and they're ready for harvest. So we'll be using these for this week's meals, as well as possibly that one. And then by that time, you know, we'll have this second cut tray will be ready again, and along with this tray here, and this tray here may be ready again over the next few weeks. And then of course, you know, we have this new tray that'll be coming online and uh, starting in the production rounds. And then, you know, as we progress, this is gonna be pretty much one of the only tents that'll stay active in our grow area uh, over the summer because everything will transition to be outside and veggies will be out there. And the only thing we really need is salad. Um, the kales, I may actually take them out of the inside and take them up onto the decks and leave them in the big trays, those big uh, concrete mixing trays that I'm using and we'll have those available outside on our deck to where, you know, it'll give us a little bit of extra versatility for having outdoor greens. I just need to see how well they'll do in those trays and I have to make sure I keep them under the eaves because if I don't, they'll get flooded because I don't want to drill any holes in them because the whole point of having those is to have them as solid, you know, big, deep six inch trays and not something that's gonna drain through and make a mess, really. <laughs> okay, well, this has been Brian from PMV Homesteading. I'll talk to you guys again, bye.